Hi there, welcome back. I said I'd be back and I'm back. We're going to work on putting uh, this young lady onto this page together. So, uh, so welcome to a little bit of my day. And if you're new here, I'm Catherine. I live in Canada. I'm about an hour east of Toronto. I live in a little town on the North Shore of Lake Ontario that I like to call heaven. <laughs> Now, I went ahead and got a few things done, um, but I still have more things to do. I inked the little dictionary pictures because they were white. I could tell. I closed my bad eye and looked at it with the white eye, and they were as white as I went and pushed it underneath as this. So I wanted it to look older. So... I'm still not convinced I'm going to use both of those, so we'll see. I inked around the edge of this. Um, I find when you've got to go through little windows like that, it's easier to use like a little, a tiny little really stiff type of brush. This is a makeup brush for doing like smoky eye smoky eyeliner around the edges of lashes back when I used to wear makeup um, so I find that's my best one for getting into those tiny little spots now I'm just going to just do the the edge because it's glaring white from being cut out of I'm not sure whether I guess it must have been a book okay so there's that. Uh, that's going to be there. Now I want to age. Let's move this. I need to age this little half of a doily. So that requires my antique linen. If I call it antique lake lace by mistake, uh, I mean antique linen. It, uh, it just, I don't know why I've got that in my brain. This is a really old pad, which is why I can feel free to just go ahead and flip it over and ink like this because it won't oversaturate. Um, if I tried to get this yellowed with the brush, I'd be here all day and I also would probably damage that little, that little paper doily. So the old ones can come in handy too. Every once in a while I'll try on um, on Amazon, I certainly have no luck with my local Michaels, which is really my only craft local craft store um, to get the refills. I'm just going to get around some of those edges to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, every once in a while, I will see about getting. A refill bottle so I can just put drops on it. I don't have much luck. So sometimes it's just as easy to purchase a whole new pad or else if you're lucky like me and wonderful wonderful people take pity on you when you can't find your favorite pads and then you get happy mail and there's your favorite distressing pads. And distress inks, I think they are a thing of the past. Let me tell you, I think I was at my local um, Michaels and they had the shelves, the shelves, the shelves restocked with uh, some Tim Holtz items, not as much as they used to. And uh, Tons and tons of colors, but only oxide. So I have a feeling Tim's just not making um, 
this version anymore. But a regular ink pad does work just as well. So, and that's probably what he's learned is that many of us are just grabbing a regular ink pad and just using it. Um, and many junk journalers very successfully and with great talent use the oxides. Um, I don't, for the time being, don't enjoy them, but never say never. There's a lot of things I don't, didn't think I enjoyed and then suddenly found out one day I enjoyed. So, um, such as collaging. I thought I didn't enjoy collaging until I, I did the, um, when Nancy at Wishes and Weeds did that make along with me, the traveler's notebook. And, uh, we had to collage the cover and I thought, oh, great. All right, let's just get this over with. And then I ended up loving it. <laughs> she got me addicted. All right, so uh, this little, this little piece of lace, I think I'm going to tuck it underneath. I think I'm going to do it before I sew so that, because I'm going to sew around the edge. Let's see. So I only want it to just hold it temporarily. Normally I don't use art glitter glue for gluing fabric. But since I'm going to sew this, I just need it to hold temporarily. Just long enough for the sewing machine. There we go. There we go, and I'm going to do the same with this um, half of a doily. Now the doily is more fragile, so I will be using the art glitter glue again and trying to grab as many of those little areas as possible in order to glue it down onto the page and have it stay put. There we go. Now, let me just take a look and see if she goes there like that and I want this to go here like that and I want this to go here and I am tempted, I'm tempted to leave the, I'm tempted to leave the wings loose. The new owner can glue down the wings if they so choose, but I am going to put it a little bit crooked, but just there so that when I sew, it will sew through, but these wings are going to stay loose. Like that. All right, that's good. Um, 
Is there anything else I wish to, I wish for the sewing to go through? He's just a little dog, a little sky terrier. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to glue it on as well and sew through it and I think I do. So we'll do that. So you can still see Whistler here, but you can't see the year, but that's all right. Look it up. It'll be online somewhere. All right. I'm going to go over to my machine and, um, and sew this. So hold on. Okay. So she looks nice. So these are still loose. Um, and I'm going to do something because I'm me. But even if they're barely noticeable, I have to give the butterfly back her antennas or his there I always cut the antennas off when I'm fussy cutting butterflies and wherever possible I sew them back on all right so that looks nice so this gets glued down next and this will be tricky. All those tiny little windows that are going to need gluing. I think what I will do to tackle that is to mostly use glue stick and do polka dots of um, polka dots of art glitter glue. Oh, here's what I did where the little Sky Terrier is. I sewed the corner, so if you look close enough, you'll see that the stitching goes right up and around. And I kind of like that. And it might just be a little me thing, but hopefully whoever someday owns it, they will go, oh, look at that, the stitching went all the way up. Now I gotta be careful. I can't be vigorous because <laughs> I'll tear this thing apart. I don't like when I move it because then you get glue on the front of it. All right, so I'm just going to do polka dots on the pointy parts. And the ones that stick out. And maybe a few in there. There we go. Oh, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a troublemaker, are you? Well, we won't put up with that. Let go. Thank you. Now I want you. Here, let me move this because you know I'll lay it in the glue otherwise. Let's bring you over, young lady. Now this is going to be one of those I'm going to have to plop it down and hope for the best. Fingers crossed because it's going to plop and stay. So 
of that goes there and that goes there that way if it's flush on the paper it won't interfere with paper sliding in and out yeah I don't think I'm going to use the sundial but I feel like I want something here like maybe some bridal lace hold on okay um I found this and I I want it <laughs> and it's totally not in the era but I want it I like how the little touch of yellow picks up the yellow there and if you look closely probably can't see it on camera but there's just the tiniest little bits of yellow inside those flowers so I want it and uh, I did find my tea dyed little bridal ones so I just want one of these this is off the, my zombie bridal can What are you doing, Miss Kirby? Get it and then get out of there. Get it. Get it. Her ball has rolled into a... Go ahead. Um, I think I should glue this down first before I glue that lace there and these daisies here. Boy, this has turned into be quite a page. But I love it. So, so yeah. All right, now put you aside and you aside. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to put you back in there so you don't plug up on me. going to flatten that out. I'm not going to worry about tying a knot in these. Um, because they're going to be glued down from behind, so they're not going to come undone. Now, did the glue show through? It didn't. It didn't even dawn on me to check and see. Sometimes old paper, the glue will show through. And it didn't. So I think, I'm just to be safe, I'm going to use three in one. Sometimes acetone shows less than a water-based glue because it won't make the um, paper puckers pucker as much as a water-based glue will, such as art glitter glue. So we shall use just a thin a thin little line of three in one along here. I find I'm back to using this big bottle. I liked the I liked the sugar bell bottle because it's easier to squeeze. But I found that tiny hole. I spent more time trying. I've got to stand up. Kirby, you got to move, honey, cuz I don't want the wheels going over your little feet. Thank you. Um, I spent more time unclogging that little hole. So, I just, you know what, I just carefully make sure that I don't squeeze too hard so I don't get too much 
and I've been using the regular bottle. Back to using the regular bottle. Then the Sugar Bell bottle. All right, so we shall put the daisies on. I think this is a situation where I would... Chinooki will go right in with hot glue. She'll use her hot glue gun. Um, part of me is worried that either my dog, if it fell over, or me, <laughs> if I forgot that it's going. I'm 63 and I just don't trust myself to safely use a glue gun. So I'm just doing it that way and that way. Some of the lace petals will still be loose. There. What have you got in your mouth? Nothing? Okay. Sometimes I hear the... And I think, all right, what's she got? Then I have to figure out which is the correct side. All right, where are you doing that? There you are. Okay. I'm holding it over here so that in case it blops. It doesn't blop on my page. I'm not sure yet what's going to get tucked in there. There we go. Done. Oh, I like that. A little bit of overkill for one page, but I'm not going to do the whole book. So if I have a little bit of overkill on what one page, I hope the new owner will forgive me. But that's just really pretty, and it was fun to do. There we go. All right, so these little flowers, the petals are still a bit loose, which I like. These are a little bit three-dimensional. I wonder if I... I think I need to... I always tell when it's time to add acetone to this. Um, I think I need to put a little bit of art glitter glue under there. So usually what I will do is just get a little dab onto a surface. Scrap paper will do. A little piece of scrap paper. You just want to dab. Get yourself a little pin. I always have pins on my desk. And then go under it. 
it's art glitter glue, so it will dry mostly clear. And there's just enough glue on it. It will hold. That's better. Are the rest fine? Oh, a little right there. There we go. What about you? No, you're down. Okay. You're good. Oh, I feel happy with her. I think she does look like Jane. Maybe, she, maybe Jane modeled for Whistler as well as Rossetti. Oh gosh, that turned out pretty. Let's see, this is just junk, but let's see. Yes. Now I probably should have fortified that. Hmm. Oh, you can't even see what I'm talking about. That's going to get torn. I wonder if I can just glue a little piece under there. Just do it. Hmm? Oh, come on. Really? Are you really going to give me a hard time? Don't do it. All right, I'm going to have to move quickly with this because it's going to want to grab it. And then I'm going to glue the top part of it down. So that little Sky Terrier. Stay safe. Okay, so if you're wondering what I did, that was going to tear off, and now it's backed. And now I'm going to still anyways glue this part down. Much better. So now, if, when, someone puts a tag or letter or postcard in and out, this is fortified, because that was just thin dictionary paper. You know when they use that extra thin kind of paper so they can fit more pages into the book? Now it will... Um, be able to handle it. That's a nice sized pocket. Well, I think it looks like Jane. So, uh, we'll either decide that it's Jane or else it's uh, Louie when she was younger. Kirby, out of there. Good girl. Lie down. That's a good girl. Don't worry, she has had P-L-A-Y time out in the yard today. Okay, let's come out a bit. 
she turned out nice. Ah, oh, very happy with her. Okay. Um, oh, I wonder if I used, should have used urchent. No. Morris? No. Don't overdo it. Step away from the collaging. Step away from the collaged pocket, Catherine. Okay, you know what? I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad that I was able to come back and do this together with you. And uh, I think that this little tuck spot really turned out quite spectacular. I'm very happy with her. So she will be, as far as we know, in Signature 2. And... Uh, And she will be a nice little surprise after a page turn. Awesome. All right. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If it's the weekend for you and you're off work, I hope you enjoy it doing something pleasant. Take care and we'll get together soon. Not sure when, but uh, soon. Have a great rest of your weekend and day. Bye.